Hi everybody, it's Gefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a brand new guide on the Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, my last guide I think was two years ago. So we're going to look at uh, the Windows parameter, the launcher for the game, the in-game settings, and also the config file. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're gonna make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing For the Xbox game bar. I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering crashing in some games So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar and for the capture Make sure that the background recording is at off and also the record uh, the recorded audio is at off Another thing that I recommend it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling make sure that you're searching for graphic setting you will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2-5% to boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now for the launcher, you just right click on your uh, icon here on Steam. Go to properties. And in general, you will see that you have an option called launch option. And I recommend to use those launch option that I'm going to put on my video description. I'm going to explain uh, all of them because it's not for everyone. So the first one is I is just make sure that your game will run at high priority when you're playing the game. So you want the, all your resources focused on this. Uh, so everyone should use that. Also, 
make sure that you use all available core on your CPU. So also all the people should use that. But after that, those uh, parameters, the first one is the shader, uh, the 4.0 shader. It will help you with your FPS, but your image quality will downgrade a lot. So if, if you're still struggling after the old guide, I recommend to go with that. But this is pretty much last resort. Pretty much same thing with here. If you want to run the game on, in direct X 10, it can help if your computer is really old, like your GPU is really old. Uh, if not, don't use that. Just run it stuck at DirectX 11. And the low memory uh, launch option is for people with less than 8 gig of RAM. So if you have like 4 gig of RAM, this can help you a lot to run the game in low memory mode. And if you don't like that, don't use this. So this is pretty much it for the launch option. Again, it will be in my video description. Just copy paste it. So now inside of the game, let's go to option. So as you can see, we have a, I have a lot of different options in this game. We're going to start with the resolution. Me, I'm playing native with my uh, monitor. So it's a 2K monitor. But if you want to use the super resolution from AMD or the image scaling from a a NVIDIA. For example, here I have a 2K monitor. I'm going to put the resolution at 1080p. And I will ask my driver to scale it back at 2K. And you can expect a nice 15 to 20% boost in your FPS uh, for ARC. So if you have access to this technology, I recommend to use it. Uh, to make sure that it's applied also, please use full screen. So with the AMD uh, super resolution, if you're not full screen, it will not work. And also, if you don't have those technologies, super important to just play full, full screen in this game. After that graphic quality, we're going to go to custom. The first parameter that you have is the resolution scale. I, I'm not a big fan to uh, um, downgrade my resolution scale. So I always start at 100 and I'm going to change all the other parameter. If you're still struggling with your FPS, for sure lower your resolution scale. It will help you a lot with your FPS if you're playing with an integrated GPU and stuff like that. And also if you're not using uh, the super resolution or the image scaling from NVIDIA, this can help. For the wall tile uh, buffer, I recommend to go with medium. Not a huge difference between low and medium, but uh, if you're going at high and epic, you can gain a nice like 6% boost when you go to medium. So I recommend to go with medium. View distance, I recommend also to go with medium. Not a huge fan of low because it changed a lot your experience in the game. You want to see a little bit further in front of you. Uh, so that's why I recommend to go medium. Don't go high and epic, you will lose too much FPS. Anti-aliasing, if you go too low, you can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. For post-processing, at low, I recommend also to use at low. You will have like a nice 7% boost in your FPS. After that, the shadows. Those two parameters are very important if you're going at low. You can expect a nice 20% boost in your FPS. So super important to put your shadow at low. For the texture, I recommend to go at epic if you have 4 gig of VRAM and more. If you have 3 gig, go with I. 2 gig go with medium, and if you have less than 2 gig, go with low. For the sky quality, this one is a bit weird. It's taking a lot of resources when you put this one at max. So honestly, for me, sky is not really important. So that's why I'm I go with low, like the minimum in the scale. You can expect a nice 8% boost when you go at low like this. For the ground clutter density, clutter distance, and mesh level of detail, normally I just go like one quarter of the bar like this. Um, at one quarter, you will lose something like 4 to 5% uh, in your FPS, but it will look like kind of okay in this game. If you're playing a, on a very old computer and you're struggling with your FPS, for sure just go with minimum with those ones. But for if you have like a mid-range computer, you can definitely play like this. For the rest of all those options, I recommend to just uncheck everything. Uh, you can expect another 15% boost if you uncheck anything. It will help you a lot for your FPS, so that's why everything here is unchecked. I recommend also the camera shake scale, but put it at minimum. I don't like this effect, and also the game feel a little bit like you have some stuttering, so you don't want that. And for the camera fog, FOV, sorry. Uh, also, it's kind of important. When you go at maximum, you will render more in front of you, so you're going to lose FPS. So don't go too crazy with this one. Start with this, and if you're playing on a very old computer and you're still struggling... Uh, with your FPS, just go with minimum for your camera FOV. So this is pretty much it for the uh, in-game setting. Now let's go in the config file. So now for the config file, let's right-click on Arc Survival, go to Properties, 
go to local file and click browse to go where you installed your game. It will also work if you're using uh, another like a launcher. Just make sure that you're going where you install the game. After that, click shooter game. We're going to go to save, config, windows, no editor and the game user setting like this. You scroll down and by default, your if uh, your true sky, your effect quality and your ground clutter quality will be at three. So make sure that you modify those one at zero like I did and you will need to save to apply it. When you did that, right click on your uh, file. Make sure that you're using read only. As you can see, my game user setting, I put it on read only. I want to block it because when I will relaunch the game, I don't want the game to override my setting. So that's why I'm doing that. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my arc guide. If you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.